Turkey's rapidly expanding defense and aerospace industry achieved another symbolic and technological milestone with the successful test of the Bayraktar Kizilelma, the country's first unmanned combat aircraft designed for jet-powered operations. Developed by Baykar, the Kizilelma represents a new generation of unmanned aerial vehicles that transcend traditional reconnaissance and attack roles. Successful flight test of the Kizilelma is more than a routine technical achievement. It reflects years of research, engineering innovation, and a strategic vision focused on redefining air combat through unmanned systems. As global military doctrine increasingly emphasizes autonomy, speed, and survivability, the Kizilelma's progress places Turkey among a small group of nations capable of developing advanced jet-powered unmanned combat aircraft. The Kizilelma's design reflects the demands of modern air warfare. The aircraft has a low radar signature, achieved through a unified wing body structure and internal weapons bay. This stealth-oriented configuration allows the aircraft to operate in environments protected by advanced air defense systems, where traditional UAVs would face significant risks. One of the most prominent aspects of the Kizilelma is its short takeoff capability, which opens the door to operations from aircraft carriers or shorter runways. This feature aligns with Turkey's naval aviation ambitions, particularly with regard to amphibious assault ships and future naval platforms. Unlike propeller-powered UAVs such as the Bayraktar TB2 or Akink, the Kizilelma is designed as a jet-powered UCAV, optimized for high-speed operations and advanced combat missions. The successful Yuku test demonstrated the aircraft's basic aerodynamic stability, propulsion performance, and flight control system a crucial foundation for the next phase of testing. During the flight test, the Kizilelma reportedly completed key maneuvers, including takeoff, level flight, and controlled landing, confirming that the platform behaves as expected in real-world flight conditions. These results validate years of digital simulations, wind tunnel experiments, and ground-based testing. The aircraft is also designed to operate at high subsonic speeds, with the potential for future variants capable of supersonic flight, advanced avionics, artificial intelligence-assisted flight controls, and a sensor fusion system enable the Kizilelma to perform complex missions with a high degree of autonomy while remaining under human supervision. The Bayraktar Kizilelma, whose name means Red Apple, carries deep historical and cultural symbolism in Turkish tradition, representing an ambitious and forward-looking goal. In modern terms, the aircraft embodies Turkey's aspiration to achieve technological self-sufficiency in defense aviation and to push the boundaries of unmanned aviation dot in aerospace development. A successful first flight is a pivotal moment. The coup test marks the transition from theory and ground validation to real-world performance. For the Kizilelma, this test confirmed that the airframe, propulsion system, and software work together as an integrated whole. Engineers collected a significant amount of data during the flight, including structural stresses, engine behavior, flight control responses, and environmental influences. This data will guide subsequent prototype refinements and inform future testing campaigns, including higher altitude flights, increased speeds, and more aggressive maneuvers. Baycar officials emphasize that this successful test reflects not only the maturity of the platform, but also the strength of Turkey's growing aerospace ecosystem, which includes local suppliers, software developers, and research institutions. The successful Kizilelma flight test has significant strategic implications. Modern air combat is increasingly shaped by concepts such as man-in-man -man cooperation, where unmanned platforms support or accompany manned fighter jets. In this role, the Kizilelma can perform missions to risky for human pilots such as penetrating heavily defended airspace or acting as a forward sensor node. The aircraft is expected to carry a variety of domestically developed munitions, including air-to-ground and potentially air-to-air -air weapons. This flexibility will allow it to perform strike missions, suppress enemy air defenses, and even limited air combat roles for Turkey. The Kizilelma strengthens deterrence by demonstrating advanced indigenous capabilities. It also increases export potential as many countries seek cost-effective alternatives to traditional fighter jets and high-end UCAVs. Baycar's success with platforms like the TB2 and Akink laid the foundation for the Kizilelma. These early-generation unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs have proven their effectiveness in real-world operations, gaining international recognition and changing perceptions of unmanned warfare. The Kizilelma builds on this legacy while moving into more technologically demanding domains, jet propulsion, 
stealth design, and carrier-capable operations represent significant leaps forward. The successful Yuku test demonstrates that Baycar is not simply repeating past successes, but is actively redefining its technological ambitions. While the initial flight test is a major achievement, it is only the beginning of a long and rigorous testing process. Subsequent phases will likely include endurance flights, weapons integration, autonomous mission testing, and operations in various weather conditions. Engine upgrades, software improvements, and the potential development of variants are also expected. Each new test will bring the Kizalelma closer to operational readiness, transforming it from a prototype into a deployable combat asset. The successful Yuku test of the Bayraktar Kizalelma marks a significant moment. In Turkey's aerospace and defense journey, it demonstrates the country's ability to design, build, and fly an advanced jet-powered unmanned combat aircraft an achievement few countries can claim. Beyond its technical significance, the Kizalelma symbolizes a broader shift in military aviation toward autonomy, innovation, and strategic independence. As testing and capability expansion continue, the Kizalelma is poised to become the cornerstone of next-generation air power, reflecting Turkey's ambitions and the evolving nature of aerial warfare. Unlike previous propeller-powered UAVs designed primarily for surveillance and precision strikes, the Kizalelma was conceived as a high-performance unmanned combat aircraft. Its jet engine, low detection shape, and aggressive aerodynamics indicate a platform designed to operate in contested airspace. Where speed, survivability, and adaptability are paramount, the aircraft's tailless or minimal tail configuration, unified wing body design, and internal weapons carriage reflect a focus on reducing radar signature. This stealth-conscious architecture allows the Kizalelma to perform missions traditionally reserved for manned fighter jets. But without risking the pilot's life, this level of autonomy enables human-machine cooperation, where the Kizalelma can operate as a loyal companion to manned fighter aircraft, extending sensor coverage, carrying weapons, or absorbing risk in high-threat environments. This sophistication lies not only in flight, performance but also in decision support systems that reduce pilot workload and accelerate battlefield response. Another remarkable dimension of the Kizalelma design is its compatibility with Shortron and naval operations, including deployment from aircraft carrying ships. This extends its strategic value beyond land-based airfields, enabling flexible power projection in maritime and expeditionary contexts. These capabilities require an exceptional flight control system, reinforced landing gear, and precise autonomous handling areas in which Baycar has leveraged its extensive experience in carrier-style UAV operations dot by integrating advanced sensors, networked warfare capabilities, and internal payload capacity. The drone can adapt rapidly to mission requirements. This flexibility increases operational efficiency while reducing the need for multiple specialized platforms dot beyond its technical attributes. The Kizalelma represents a strategic milestone it demonstrates that advanced combat aviation is no longer the exclusive domain of a few traditional powers. The platform demonstrates how a focused and iterative approach combining domestic innovation with battlefield proven experience can produce a system that is competitive on a global scale. The Kizalelma also reflects a broader transformation in warfare, the shift toward expendable intelligence and networked air systems, where autonomy and data fusion are as important as speed or raw payload. The sophistication of Bayraktar's Kizalelma lies in its holistic design philosophy. It's not simply a faster drone or a stealthier UAV. It's a conceptual bridge between unmanned systems and next-generation fighter aircraft. By combining jet performance, I-enabled autonomy, stealth characteristics, and multi-domain operational capabilities, the Kizalelma symbolizes how modern air power is being redefined. In this sense, the Kizalelma is more than just a machine. It's a statement about the future of aerial combat, where intelligence, adaptability, and innovation shape dominance in the skies. Innovation shape dominance in the skies.